Century News Service. This is Friday, March 10, 2038. The scientific team of Blendon, Engen, Lazzarato announced their discovery that the hairspray layer, which replaced the ozone layer, is just as effective in keeping out the gamma rays and also eliminates the frizzies. <laughs> Sarah Evans, U.S. Ambassador to Ethiopia, today announced that surplus grain would be shipped to Iowa to help with a shortfall in that state's harvest. <laughs> this is the tenth year in a row that Ethiopia has had a surplus crop, thanks to the Engen system of planting, based on mathematical equations too complex to be discussed in this limited time. <laughs> Athletes from all nations began arriving in South Africa today in preparation for the opening ceremonies of the Summer Olympics at Nelson Mandela Memorial Stadium. The combined Israeli-Palestinian team looks impressive in track and field with a strong challenge from the all-Irish team. In basketball today, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, age 91, announced that this would be his last season in the NBA. Television today announced a new episode of Moonlighting is in the works for next year. This brings to 12 the number of episodes in the last decade. Very impressive. What about the uh, wrap up anchor, Dennis Blunden? Um, well, actually, Mr. Moore, I haven't done the assignment. What? What? I could wing something if you guys don't mind. Sure, I agree. Let's see. The year? 2013. <laughs> the world is a better place today because a bunch of high school kids grew up and helped make it that way. As it turns out, they all had the same teacher, a fellow by the name of Moore or something. He told them about soap. And in fact, one of those kids grew up to be pretty important in the science world, a fellow by the name of Blunden something or other. All right. <laughs> So, if you don't mind, Mr. Moore, I'd like to be excused so I can get back to the library where I have been studying like a madman to pass the test for this physics internship. I, uh, realized it's something I wanted, and I never would have forgiven myself for not taking the chance to get it. It's also a good excuse to get out of class. <laughs> Mr. Moore? Get out of here, you big lug. I didn't mean it that way. 